Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp, and this is the Ikura build video uh, part 3. And basically she's all done. A few little things I have to do, but I thought I'd give you guys uh, a rundown of where I'm at right now. I've got the uh, servo tray and everything all complete. I have my receiver mounted nicely in the receiver cradle that I made. I have a Zepsis magnetic switch mounted here and another little mount that I made. A rudder servo and the antenna right here with another antenna running this way. Battery underneath here and here I have uh, the charge leads for my receiver pack. Motor is installed, and I have a 14, uh, 14 by 9.5 Vita prop, which, according to eCalc, is gonna do the job for me. And my custom 3D printed um, spinner, which I'm in the process of painting. And I'm using my uh, Grotner MZ32, which I haven't really uh, used that much. This is only the second model I've programmed to this uh, radio. And the programming went uh, pretty good. Um, everything is working except for the motor, obviously, because I don't have a speed control or battery yet. And I think what I'm going to do is get this guy on my CG machine and figure out how much weight I need to get to the proper CG and then select the speed control and battery uh, with having that weight in mind so I can get my CG as close as possible without adding weight or shifting things around too much. But yeah, here's the uh, MZ32. And I have a basic setup in the airplane. As you can see, just a basic setup for now, and then we'll do some tuning on the uh, Ikura once we get a maiden flight on it. But yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is put this on my uh, CG machine and figure out how much weight I need in, in the nose to get the proper CG. So let's go ahead and do that. Some interesting results with the uh, CG machine. Um, it's a little heavier than I thought by about uh, 500 grams, but no big deal. So what we have is about 3,500 grams empty without the battery or speed control. And we need to get to 4,100 grams to get a CG of 100 millimeters from the leading edge. Uh, Aerotech recommends 90, but that seems pretty conservative to me. So I just set things up for 100. So basically I need six, about 600 grams which means I'm going to end up using a much bigger battery than I thought. So I happen to have two of these um, Hyperion Graphene 4400 4S packs that I used in something else. And they are 445 grams. So 445... Plus 35, 34 basically gives me a remainder of 155 grams that I need for speed control. And the Castle Edge Light 160 HV is uh, 171 grams, so I'm a little bit uh, off, which will bring my CG uh, a little more forward, so I'm guessing it will be like 98 or 97 or something like that. That's pretty darn close. So what I need to do is get me this uh, edge light speed control and I can um, install it in the model and get my batter battery situated. Luckily the Ikura is massive so this giant battery is going to fit no problem. Um, it already has some velcro on it. I'll put some velcro here and I'll get some straps to strap it down. So then all we have to do is wire up the motor and speed control and uh, we're ready to fly. So we're very, very close. I got my battery situated. I have a Velcro uh, strap on the bottom and these two straps going over the top of the battery. Uh, XT90 connectors set up. 
And in there, stuffed in there, I have a uh, Castle uh, 160 amp speed control. Here's my 3D printed spinner, spinner and my carbon props. Uh, I thought it was a would be clever to paint the props red to try to match the plane. Um, I have a feeling that the paint will last one flight and probably get destroyed, but uh, whatever. Looks okay. There's the spinner, and I painted it gray to try to match the uh, canopy and the rest of the gray on the model, and it, it's sort of close. But I'm really happy with the spinner. It came out great. Um, at this point, I have to program the speed control and hook it up. And it's, it's basically, that's basically it. I'm going to put it on the CG scale one more time just to double check my CG. And I guess I got a little uh, carried away too with something else. I decided to salvage the nose that I cut off. So if I take this spinner and prop off, I have my nose. And inside... Actually, 3D printed a clamp. You can see that there. There's a little plywood bulkhead. There's a screw and a nut on the backside and a access hole and then like an alignment pin. And basically what I can do is push this on to the plane like this. And then I can go in from the bottom and tighten that clamp and basically put the nose back on in case I want to just slope this thing. I don't have to have the prop hanging out. So I don't know, maybe that was overkill, but it was kind of fun to do. So I have that. I forgot to mention that I was able to uh, build a rear motor mount to support the back of the motor. And uh, it's integrated into the uh, plywood servo tray or battery tray. All right, I got the speed control programmed. Everything is working. Uh, the motor's going in the right direction. I got the brake set up on the motor. And um, I figured out um, the CG. Right now we're at 93 millimeters from the leading edge. So we're a little bit uh, behind where uh, Aerotech says you should fly it. But forward of where I want to be at 100. So I think what I'll do is maybe try getting a 3800 or 4000 milliamp battery to move the CG further back a little bit. But I think we're good to go with this setup for a couple test flights. And the all-up weight as it sits right now is 4187 grams. So about 4200 grams. A little heavier than I expected. But I think for a model uh, like this it doesn't really matter. Hopefully we get tons of power out of this motor and prop. Anyway, time to pack this thing up and uh, go fly. So we'll see you out at the field. It's got some juice. So we're at El Dorado and I'm gonna mate in the Ikura. I'm kind of nervous because this thing is a beast, but we did all the uh, pre-flight checks and we range tested it and made make sure everything was working. So um, I'm just going to give it a hand toss and then uh, fire up the motor and see how she goes. So fingers crossed. Ready. <laughs> 